Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, it is I am the one and only Ray the Flying Squirrel here and I am back for yet again for the likes of the Maxi Toys videos. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for some more of Let's Play of Mario Party 7 for the Nintendo GameCube. So yesterday we actually did manage to show off the Deluxe Cruise by able to actually go for the 8 player mini games respectively. In addition to that though, despite how that video has actually gone slightly shorter because obviously the only modes we can only go into which are two modes which are 8 player free play as well as 8 player ice battle so either way though yeah despite that I had a lot of fun with that mode especially noticeable with the forms of the shark absorbers mini game that uh, it was pretty fun and chaotic at the same time especially when it gets pretty intense later on so today that we're going to be hitting on to the forms of the next mode in terms of Mario Party 7. And this one appears to be the minigame cruise. As always, there's going to be a whole bunch of mini games that we can able to play around with. And in addition to that, some balance of modes comes into play as well. So of course, we're able to actually just pick Mario by myself and also uh, computer players as usual. Luigi, Wario and Waluigi ever since in... Uh, well, specifically Mario Party, uh, um, I would classify for saying Mario Party, uh, 5, as well as Mario Party 6. Maybe I forgot, because it had, I know it has been a long while since I actually did manage to look back on Mario Party 5 and Mario Party 6 Let's Plays, because, well, by that point in time, it's the fact I'm pretty much used to playing this at the moment, so... So anyways, as always, like I said, there are a few modes to play with, such as, for instance, there is the free play or free play sub, which basically allows you to be able to play certain mini games on your spare time, as well as uh, Volcano Peril, and also Waterfall Battle, and also there is Pearl Hunt, and also we got ourselves the familiar mode, if you ever played both Mario Party 5 and Mario Party 6, which appears to be Decathlon Castle, and also there is actually a single player mode called King of the River, which I'll show this off later, after we're done with the forms of not only those kinds of modes, but also to show off the rest of the minigames while after doing so. So, yeah, let's begin with the first mode for today, for the likes of the minigame mode, Volcano Peril. Get a specific number of wins before you basically win. So, yeah, basically though, it's pretty standard stuff. If you ever played, uh, specifically Mario Party 2 and Mario Party 3 and 4 for the minigame battle, and say applies to Mario Party 5 as well, and heck, even with the forms of the actual, uh, the battle bridge mode from Mario Party 6, uh, basically though, this mode is self-explanatory, basically we need to win certain minigames depending on what specific number of victories we'll go for. So I think we'll go for 7 wins, and, uh, since that we've already shown off every single 1 versus 3 minigames and 2 versus 2 minigames, so I think we're able to focus on 4 player minigames from now on, because I think there's actually uh, 2 4 player minigames left that we have not seen yet, which are, I won't classify for saying both catchy tunes and uh, fun run is the only ones we have not seen yet. So, yeah, but if I did, let's get to it with uh, Volcano Peril. And of course, the first minigame we'll start off with is uh, Pokey Pamel. So, as always, we'll do a ridiculous button mashing here. So, let's get to it. And look at that, another new record. But this time around for below, like, 8 milliseconds. So, I'll be alright with that. And also, as far as I'm guessing correctly, is that much like in Mario Party 6, I'm presuming anyway, that every time you get a new record in a minigame mode, basically though, that the actual saving will auto-save, assuming if you have your memory card with you. So, uh, yeah, that might be something worth noting for. And I think it might be something similar as well, until whenever we get into Mario Party 8, that's, uh, Except from there, that on Mario Party 8, it will automatically save onto your Wii memory. So, I guess that makes it a little bit obvious. Alright, so next minigame we have here, where we're able to actually play in this minigame again, Kite Wield. In fact, go and think about it, that uh, this minigame also kind of reminds me of uh, Slot Kart Derby from the likes of both Mario Party 1 and Mario Party 2, including the Top 100, and especially noticeable with... Uh, 
Superstars version as well. But also this minigame, in terms of this perspective right there, it does kind of remind me of uh, Top Ride mode from the likes of uh, Kirby Air Ride, which I had a lot of fun playing the game uh, back in a while ago. But uh, it's actually kind of hard to get back into it though, despite the fact that I haven't exactly like touched that game for quite some time since 2018. But hopefully I'll get around into that at some point, but I highly doubt we're probably not going to do a let's play of that game because it's too much busy work. So, but that's probably just me anyway. So yeah, every time you win, then uh, basically you will go up. So yeah, that's basically how this goes. So take me on. We've seen this so many times already, but um, hopefully we're able to just win again, I suppose. I suppose another thing I should probably talk about this as well. Although, mind you, that uh, Pac-Man has already mentioned about a lot of stuff, as I mentioned earlier, from the likes of the Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics so far. But uh, usually today it is, is the forms of uh, the 13th of February today, in this case in 2022 today. So naturally speaking, in addition that tomorrow will be Valentine's Day, but also that until next week, that uh, the Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics uh, closing ceremony will about to happen. So yeah, I guess that makes it a little bit obvious for the sake of the forms of trying to mention certain things like that. So... Oh, looks like me and Wario somehow survived this minigame, so, okay, I'm down with that. Although, the only thing is, though, is the fact that if you tied with someone, well, specifically if two players wins on that singular minigame, it does not count as going up. Whilst unlike in Step It Up from the likes of, uh, I would say in Mario Party 9, that, uh, basically you can't go up. So, and I think that can be also applied onto Mario Party Island Tour as well, specifically Bloom Race or Hot Air Hijinx and stuff like that. So, although, because it has been a really long while since I actually did manage to play the modern uh, Mario Party games up to this point, because, well, it seems pretty obvious that most people seem to always prefer the classic style of Mario Party, including Super Mario Party and uh, Mario Party Superstars by that point. So, I can possibly understand it. So, anyway, so at least I did manage to win that. So, without even getting tied with Waluigi all of a sudden. Because if Waluigi gets five more points, then obviously that I cannot increase upwards. So. Alright, next minigame. So let's see what next minigame are we playing next. Ah, uh, uh, Big Dripper. Still no luck of the forms of... Uh, either Fun Run or uh, Catchy Tunes yet, but uh, eventually, we will come across into it eventually, it's just the fact that it might take a while to be able to uh, come across into those minigames yet, so... Alright, it's time to collect even more honey, so uh, probably feeding uh, Winnie the Pooh and stuff like that, so... And also we just got to duck as well. So yeah, um, I suppose I should probably uh, mention about another thing I want to classify for mentioning about something, and that is the fact that, well, um, actually, uh, to be honest here, yeah, there's not much else I can honestly talk about, well, aside from the fact that I've already mentioned about, uh, until next week, the closing ceremony for the Winter Olympics for this year, it will happen. So, in this case though, I'm sure that uh, Pac-Man will mention more about it until when he goes back on to Warrior Land 4, and especially, no and especially noticeable with, uh, you know, The Legend of Zelda and Link to the Past. So, yeah, that might be something worth knowing for. Alright, finally, new minigame, Catchy Tunes. So, let's go in and look at, the ex look at those instructions here to see how that plays out. Run around and collect the falling musical symbols. You must collect one of each kind to win. So, yeah, basically, we're gonna have to able to walk around, and then basically, we have to get those all different kinds of music notes, and that's all you really have to do in this mini game. It feels a bit slightly slower for that specific drop. Mind you, because this is still on the PAL version, so whilst unlike the NTSC versions, specifically the American version and the Japanese release of the game, basically those musical notes will drop a little bit more faster to get the actual rhythm going, so... It's just a minor convenience that is, but uh, I don't mind about it too much. 
Oh yeah, I think, um, I don't suppose I actually mentioned about this either, or especially noticeable that Sonic hasn't mentioned about that either, from the likes of, in terms of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic episodes, to be more specifically in Season 2 Friday, that I suppose the only episodes they actually got into for the sake of the 10th anniversary of certain episodes now, which there are, are currently, uh, Family Appreciation Day, and also Baby Cakes, and um, also the last roundup, and the Super Speedy Cider Squeezy 6000, and there's also Read It and Weep, and recently, in the forms of, um, in, during it two days ago, Hearts and Hoofs Day episode just managed to become a decade old. You know, that episode where uh, the CUNY Mark Crusaders has managed to able to plan out, uh, I think it's like Miss Chili and uh, Big Macintosh somehow managed to able to got love uh, potion and stuff like that. So even though it has been a long while since I actually seen that episode, looking back, but I'm sure that most bronies will know what exactly what I'm gonna say. All right, one more mini game. Assuming I will be able to win Volcano Peril, that is Snow Ride. Should be a piece of cake for my part, but uh, it seems that to be more specifically that we've almost nearly at the end. For the sake of the forms of the 10th anniversary of certain My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Season 2 episodes for the sake of the 10th anniversary, well, at least it wasn't until whatever we get into sometime, I believe in April, that that is when we're able to come across into uh, one of the greatest finales ever for the sake of this entire show. That's what appears to be a Cantal of Wedding Part 1 and Part 2. So I think that will be spe specifically on April the 21st. So maybe that we'll mention more about it. And so whatever we get into later uh, uploading schedules for the sake of not just for uh, Mario Party 7, but also eventually Mario Party 8. So that might be part of a plan right there. And since I've managed to be able to win Snow Ride, and also I've managed to win seven mini games in a row, despite the fact that uh, the tie thing with Take Me On with Wario doesn't count. So, and since now I'm in the lead, and somehow the other three players are stuck to the bottom. And if they manage to get the exact same amount of points, they have to do once again a tiebreaker thing. So in this case, Wario is in second, Waluigi was in third place, and Luigi was in last. Juicy forms that dice roll tiebreaker thing, so yay, I won! And somehow the other three just managed to get trapped inside the actual bone cage or something like that. So, yeah, that was it for Volcano Peril. It's quite fun, though.